so it's been raining on and off. So right now it's not raining. Hopefully it doesn't start pouring and it's too loud. And you know, you know how it goes. You guys can't hear me. But I'm back in Nashville and I'm currently filming a video which I wanted to get out today, but uh, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> which if you'll see this here, that's what it is. That's all, that's all I'll show you. That's all I'll tell you. Hey Dorian. Hey, Lifted Lifestyle, what's up? I have some really, um, I have some really busy weeks coming up. Prevost family, yeah, you're back. I am happy to be back. Uh, I, I can't see your name, I'm sorry. Semi, semi, ilmatic, ilmatic, semi-matic, did I say that right? Um, Beverly said, hey girl, did you enjoy the lake? Um, yes. I don't know. So I did, I flooded the river, but we did also go to the lake and I tried wakeboarding for the first time and I got up twice for a pretty decent amount of time. It was not long, but I was very impressed and proud of myself. And that was really, really fun. I, it made me want to, um, go learn how to like surf because that's what they do when they, not surf, surf, but like, um, you hold onto a rope and then once the waves get good, like you let go of the rope and you just surf the little waves. It was really fun. It was a great experience. And, you know, glad I got to experience it. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy the lake. What was I saying? I got a busy week. And now I lost my train of thought. You guys have any questions? Rush, Rushery said, I love to see you having fun with your friends. It was definitely a great, um, a break, a great getaway. And I'm really glad that I went. Um, it was much needed for sure. And I'd met Jessica's boyfriend for the first time, and he's really cool. He has really great taste in music, which, if you have good taste in music, you have like cool points with me hardcore. Pat said, glad you took a break. You look so energized. Your cooking live was cool. Yeah, we, I wanted to do some, I wanted to go live, but we were having dinner and Jessica was like, well, you should film it. I was like, why don't we just go live and do it? So that was just a fun thing that was kind of spur of the moment. But that enchilada casserole or enchilada lasagna or whatever you want to call it was so good. We ate all of it like within like that night and the next day. That's all we ate throughout the next day. Roderick said, are you going to do van life? I'm actually, I mean, yeah, essentially it's the same thing as van life, but I did van life or I lived in a van and now I'm building out a bus, a short bus. So that's the plan. Tanya said, are you going to tell us what was wrong with the engine on the bus? That is a video that will be coming out in the next few days or so. Um, so you guys will just have to wait and see. Debbie said, good to see you're starting to get busy. Let us see your, see what you're doing. And when you start traveling go by Glen Rose they have tubing there also I've had a couple people say that I should go to a few different places to go to being like in North Carolina and stuff someone said the water's like crystal clear which I had so much fun I don't think I'd want to go alone like it's definitely fun with a group of people um, but the there are rivers here like uh, the Frio River is like crystal clear the, brown, the Guadalupe, which I floated, was definitely not crystal clear. It was brown. But, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't going to see the fish. You just go to float and drink with some friends. Which I, I didn't know anyone there besides Jessica. And I had just met her boyfriend. And then he brought, he entered, or we went out with a couple, a few of their friends the night before. And one of them, or two of them, floated the river with us. But we didn't know that he was taking us to float the river 
and we were like hanging out with a full-blown bachelor party like we he took us to a bachelor party which i'm not necessarily complaining i had a great time but we were the only girls and so i mean i mean i made a lot of friends and it was really fun but we had no idea that we were going to a bachelor party we i feel like we crashed it Mouse said, sorry for these partial comments. This is why I don't comment on live streams. Anyways, how do you from Cajun country, Louisiana? There's a concert going on in Louisiana that I wish I could go to, but I think it's coming up too soon. Outlaw Annie said, uh, hello, Jelena, watching you here in Twin, Alabama, and really hoping you enjoy your 8-inch memory foam bed as much as we are. We totally love it. I've actually laid on it a few times, and at this point, I don't even care if I'm dirty because... I'm not really dirty, I just have a lot of sawdust on me. I just brush off, lay down, take a, a quick rest in between frustration and confusion. Uh, it's coming along. <laughs> Isaiah said, hey, uh, Tennessee and rain, same here in Alabama. Yeah, it it's not raining anymore. I had all my windows down and stuff and the door at the back back door open. I have my front door open because it's at an angle, so I don't think that um, the rain will come in. It, it typically rains this way. So I think we're good to go. Um, Kelly Collins said, what are you putting on the ceiling? Um, I know it's going to be some type of wood. I don't know if I'm going to do like cedar or like a cedar sh tongue and groove or like some shiplap. I think I want to go at first, when I was planning on building it out and stuff, I really wanted to have everything be very clean and smooth and modern. And then now that I'm kind of getting into it and I'm really thinking about how do I really want it to feel when I'm here in here all the time. And I want it to be more, you know, custom to me and not necessarily like um, your typical like what you see like the, the I, I was watching Donna Van Life's live chat and she was talking about the same thing and it really struck a chord with me and she was like talking about how a lot of people get into their builds and they have this idea of this like Insta this Instagram aesthetic of like this look that they want and then it becomes overwhelming and not that I feel like it would be overwhelming for me per se of course I know that there's I, I know what I can do and I know what it can't do and I know what tools I have and what tools I don't have. So that also makes, that is a huge factor for me is not having the proper tools. So I kind of have to use what I got. And that doesn't always mean that cuts are straight and everything's square. So I figure, why not? I love the rustic look. Just go with a boho rustic look. Lots of wood, lots of natural color. I probably I probably won't have any color other than like pops of color from like decoration everything else is probably just gonna be pretty much wood which I'm totally fine with that's kind of how the van was but there are certain things that I want that it's like it will be somewhat clean cut so Debbie said, you'll be with the school bus restoration folks. Pat said, your build when it's finished will be great and you'll be so proud. Own it, girl. Oh, I'm I'm definitely already proud of what I've done so far. And I have the, I'm going to attempt to install the Max fan probably tomorrow or the next day. Obviously, it won't be hooked up. I do have my solar, which I will be possibly hooking up sooner than later. I'm not sure. I can't say too much, but you guys will kind of know a lot more over the next couple weeks. Mel said, oh, that bites. You could always stay at my place. I'm less than 10 minutes away from the Cajun Dome. I will be in Texas for the last week of this month through the weekend of the 4th for my niece's wedding. Oh, that's awesome. I hope you enjoy Texas. I don't remember when that concert 
it is, but I know I'm not going to be able to make it just because of timing and I know I won't be around that area. And Mel said, we women know how to improvise. That's true. Isaiah said, doing things for Instagram rather than what you prefer could possibly suck the joy out of your build. Yeah, and I don't think it's that people do it for Instagram. I think it's that they want the Instagram look. Like, they, obviously they want to do what they're doing. You hear the rain? It's raining. Um, they, you know, they want to do the van life and they want to do the bus life or like build out a, whatever it may be, a car, a camper, an RV, whatever the case may be. You see these beautiful builds on Instagram and you're like, oh, I want that. But that may not always be capable or you may not always be capable of doing exactly that on your own. Like I said, like with me, not that I'm not capable and not that anyone else isn't per se, but to an extent, it depends on your experience. But I don't have the proper tools, so I can only do so much and wing the rest of it. I just saw lightning. I was waiting for it to, the thunder. Prevost uh, family said, I love it. Don't forget your dream catcher or crystal. Crystal's with me all the time. Um, I literally have not taken this necklace off since the day that her mom gave it to me. Roger said, did you get it running? That video will be out in a few days. You guys will know all the dirty, dirty details of what's going on with the bus as far as whether or not it's running and if I got it fixed. Todd said, hi from, I can't say that, Canada. Sas, Saskatchewan. Like your videos and watch all the time. Great job. I'm hoping by next year I'll be living full-time family. That's that's awesome. I will send you all the good vibes, and I hope that you are too. Pat said, even a professional carpenter will tell you nothing's always perfectly square. Uh, you're doing a damn good job. That's true. Scott said, I'm, oh, said, I'm glad that you had a good vacation. Thank you. It was, it was really fun. I got to see some close friends. I wish I could have gotten to see some more people, but it sucks having to rely on other people for a vehicle especially when you're out of town and I didn't rent a vehicle so a lot of days I was just like hanging out at just because I'm by myself and she was like out doing something but we have a ton of fun like I enjoy my downtime so I took advantage of that JP said looks great you've done a great job I hope you are doing well thank you my C print said what tools do you think you need Honestly, I think my biggest thing that I need is a, what is it called? I know I need a table saw. I'm not going to get one. And I need a, I forget what it's called, the one that, it's the saw that goes down like that. I forget, I don't know what it's called. I'd have to Google it or look it up. Today I started building a, we'll say it's a box, and I, don't have or I didn't have a, a pocket hole jig and I was like I'm just gonna attempt to put these screws in at an angle as if you were using a pocket hole jig. Let's just say I got very frustrated with that and I just went to Home Depot and got a pocket hole jig and some pocket hole jig screws. And I I mean I got the job done so well not completely I got it like 80% done. DW Crossed are you planning on blacking out some of the windows? I I go back and forth on that. I'm still kind of deciding. I tend to change my mind a lot, especially like during the build, because I'm just I'm still like um, just I'm, I have so many ideas flowing through my head as I'm building stuff, and as I talk to other people who um, have built out their rigs and like what they think, what they like, what they didn't like. I'm watching videos and stuff. I mean, I've probably watched it hundreds of videos but when you watch like the tour videos you're only getting literally just a tour they don't necessarily not every time talk about what they would have done differently so i've already had a couple of like layout changes in mind since i did my layout video which video which i thought that i was like, so set on so i mean it's i don't want to say that i'm going to but it's definitely a thought that i've had in my mind I'm just gonna call you Sammy because I don't I don't know how to pronounce the whole thing. Is it 
that um, said, you look gorgeous, you look exhausted lately, like you have been working too hard, get some rest. Um, I mean, I definitely got some rest on my vacation to an extent. We did do a lot of, I did wakeboarding and like floated the river and like we went hiking and did some swimming and stuff. So, I mean, I'm just, I probably look worn out because I am sweating I'm dirty, I'm really covered in sawdust. And it, today was like nasty hot in Nashville, like disgusting. Like you just walk outside and it felt like a sauna and the sun was out too. But right now it feels great. It's raining, the air is so much cooler. But earlier today, like I had all the, I had my little fan going in here and the windows open, the doors open. And I was just dripping sweat. It was not fun. Martha said, I'm so glad you're back with your school bus to finish. Can't wait till you're done with it. Laugh out loud. Yeah, I'm excited to be back. I was, I don't tell Jessica, but I was kind of ready to go like a, a little while before I actually left. <laughs> I'm just, I was so anxious to get back and get started on it. And then to get, to get started again on it, get some stuff done. And I thought about staying in it just for fun and like bringing the cats in here just for a night to see how it goes, see how like fill it out for them, see what they think of it. I don't know. Tanya said, so what's on the agenda for After the Max fan? Do you need to insulate now? So After the Max fan, I did think about um, framing the ceiling, but I think I need to, I can, I can frame the ceiling, but I think after, before I insulate, no, friend ceiling didn't insulate the pre-wire for my lighting and for my outlets if I have any. Again, I'm still technically in the designing phase here. And then uh, I got solar coming up. I'm working on something on the bed and then I got closets under the bed. I'm probably gonna do all that before I get started on my cabinets and stuff. I hope the rain is not too loud because it's loud for me. Beverly said, are you going to use the same heat you had in the van? I definitely will have a diesel heater for sure. That was the best investment I needed. I made in the van, but I also had the opportunity. Um, I got offered a sponsorship from a mini split unit company. I just don't know if I'm going to have enough power for that. So that's kind of up in the air for me right now. I may just wind up upgrading my solar system. And by that, I mean getting more batteries and maybe a bigger inverter and more solar panels, but we'll see. I did, either way, I'll have a diesel heater. Jeff said, glad you had a good time and also glad you're back. Love watching the build. Thanks, Jeff. Isaiah said, I'm heading to Missouri for some dispersed camping for two weeks after the fourth. If you want help on the solar. Um, I don't know that I will be in town, but, uh, if so, if I'm not, if I haven't started the solar yet, that'd be awesome. Debbie said, Jaylena, you're going to meet so many nice people driving and traveling around. What's crazy is I feel like I already have met so many amazing people just via social media. I can only imagine what it's going to be like when I'm actually on the road and I get to meet some of these people in real life and, you know, meet new people that I didn't meet on social media. Prevost family said, just sneak through to Australia. I'll pick you up at the airport and have a, have, a, have the party ready. Australia's on my bucket list, for sure. That's, uh, I've always wanted to visit Australia, so I don't know, we'll see. Pat said, what tool do you need most? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I guess I'd say, is it a, is it a, called a table saw? No. I don't think I need, I need the other one more than the table saw. That's not a skill saw. That's a skill saw. I'm going to look it up. Melissa Peck said, and you're doing 
Doing a great job winging it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I think it is. Uh, oh, a miter saw. That's what it is. I think if I had a miter saw, my life would be a lot easier. But I the miter saw and the table saw is like. I guess. I don't know if I'll wind up getting those or not. And I don't want to rent it because that's something that, you know, you're going to use often. So, I don't know. SRD said, where do you want to go first when the van is finished? Um, once the van is done, I'm going to be making my way to Texas, to the Houston area, and then I'm going to shoot over west. I want to go to Big Bend, and then either go up into New Mexico through Colorado and kind of make my way northeast or go to California and kind of ride my way up to the coast. Um, I definitely want to make my way back to Washington and visit my reservation. And then right now my, my little brother's living in the Seattle area too, so if he's still there then I'm, I'm trying to, he, he's, he has a Hummer and he's living in the Seattle area and I'm trying to convince him to just like live in his Hummer and start a channel. Debbie said, it's so exciting watching you do this and I'm so proud of you. My, uh, my goodness, I want to do it loud. You're doing great. You're doing a great job. I can't wait to see it finish. Thank you. Hey, Miss Colbeer. If I come to the Houston area, I'd love to meet up with you guys. Susan said, who is Crystal? Crystal was uh, one of my best friends growing up. I met her in middle school and she passed away um, a little over a year ago to ovarian cancer and she was 27. And that's who my, her name was Crystal Hampton and that's who my van was named after was Hampton. Um, Andrew said, I just wanted to say I love watching you never change. So great to see a, a hot girl doing what she loves. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Melissa said, hey, I'm wearing my hair off square shirt. My hair off square shirt. Did, was that a typo? I'm confused. Am I, am I confused? Dorian did a $4 super sticker. A, a pair with the, I mean, we're going to say that's coffee today. No wine today. Debbie said, Harbor Freight's a pretty good place to buy tools and damn good buy on them. Yeah, um, I've used a lot of tools from Harbor Freight and I've seen them be put through like hell and back and they all survived like years of just very terrible conditions. <laughs> So I definitely back Harbor Freight 100%. Uh, Jackson Maria said, what's the pretty white pattern material behind you? That's my memory foam mattress. Uh, it doesn't have any sheets or anything on it right now, so it's just the mattress material. Casper 2 y'all said, just found your channel watching from Canada. Roger said, mirror tint the windows, keep the curves from looking in and let the light in. Well, I thought about, um, I've seen a lot of people do like the stained glass sticker stuff. And I thought that was really cool. I don't, I don't know. I might be blacking out some of the windows though. So we'll see. I think Levi has the mirror tint, but his is like a yellowish color, which I don't like the yellow, but you can't see inside of it. I mean, you can, but like it's, you'd have to be up on the window. Darren said, same here, Todd. We have a tornado warning out here right now. Oh, geez. I'm like, I feel like I'm way behind on comments and stuff. Debbie said, it's very understandable the issues you're having with tools must, and must improve as 
as you go, that's okay. It's going to turn out beautiful. Thank you. And yeah, I mean, there's people who have less than I do that are making it work. You know, you just, you have to work with what you have and, um, you know, work your, work your way up and you get there. Kathleen did a $20 Canadian super chat, said just a little something to buy supplies for the bus, lap out or just have fun. <laughs> Thank you. It'll definitely be going back into the bus. I appreciate it though. Um, I do want to say though, I watched, uh, regret or yeah, regretless. She did a video called, um, I think it's called like depressed life to dream life or something, but she, she lives in a bus and her bus is pretty freaking nice. And her story, I don't want to say too much because like, it'd be awesome if you guys go watch it. But like her story was pretty fascinating. It's not at all what you would have expected or thought just like if you just followed her on Instagram or something or you just started following her channel because um, she just started her own channel not too long ago but it's really good if you guys want to go check it out it's like regretless but I think it's like L-Y-S-S -S. Debbie did a $10 super sticker and uh, with the pair that said the I love how they're all these pairs, and I know, I'm pretty sure you guys get to somewhat pick them. But every time it's a pair, I think it's funny. David said, I see you're getting the same storm we are getting down here, down the road from here in Virginia. Can't escape the rain, it stormed in Dallas, now it's raining here. I worked inside the bus all day because I thought it was going to rain, it said it was going to rain uh, earlier than it is. So just in case I worked in here, I hopped outside for a minute and it, when it looked like it was about to rain and I hurried up, but now the floor is covered in sawdust. <laughs> Kathleen said, so great you had a good time and that you want to keep going on the bus conversion and go, uh, and go back on the road. Love seeing your videos. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm really excited. My One of my brothers who I haven't seen in like 10 years is just moved to Houston so that is why I plan on going to the Houston areas to see my brother and uh, there's a few places in Texas that I'm hoping to maybe stop by throughout my journey I guess but I don't want to spend too much time in Texas just because I've been all around Texas Paul Honeyman did a five pound super sticker of, of some hungry hungry hippos <laughs> And Debbie said, God bless you. You deserve everything you need to get. Pat said, our temps were 105 to 100 and then heat index hot. Ooh, uh, that is hot. Hopefully it's not buffering in, because of the rain. Angel said, what's your plan for the ceiling on the bus? Um, I'm not positive what I'm going to do. It will be wood. It won't be painted. Possibly stained if anything but I'm not sure if I want to do like a shiplap or like tongue and groove possibly the cedar tongue and groove like I had in the van um, I want everything to be pretty natural and neutral very neutral when it comes to colors if you haven't noticed how I dress I never wear crazy colors there's like one shirt that I have and it's a Led, Ze a Led Zeppelin like tie-dye shirt but that was that was my friend crystals <laughs> it was like we got to, me and a couple of our friends got to go through some of her stuff and we each kept a few things from her and I love that shirt because it, I mean, I, I love the shirt, but that's the only like piece of clothing you'll see me wear that's like a crazy off the wall color. I usually in fairly neutral colors. Malcolm said, hello, glad you're doing great. Glad you enjoyed your downtime. I'm hoping to buy a short bus next year and start my conversion. And that's awesome. Well, good luck to you. I hope that that comes to fruition for you. John said a mini split will be awesome even just to have a ba available to plug into campgrounds or at friends houses. That's true. That's very true. I didn't even think about that of like connecting it to that and like if I'm at a campsite with power or staying at someone's house like I could always plug in and use that. I'm sorry if I'm skipping through, skipping over your comments. I feel like I'm really behind. <laughs> Brazos Valley Soap, hey, said, hey girl, how's your night? It's 
going. I'm tired. Um, I gotta go make another Home Depot run where I can finish what I'm doing. So I'll probably, I think Levi's at work. I might just help have him bring me back some, some cedar. Nivasi said pallet wood. I actually was planning on doing a lot of pallet wood in the bus which might still happen my sister her husband gets free pallets so I thought about taking advantage of that and save on lumber I'm just not quite sure if I will make it to Dallas before I would need that or if I'd be able to stay in Dallas at her house because it's in a residential area so, I don't know. Steven Smith did a $20 super chat. I love your videos. Keep smiling. What's wrong with your engine? Um, thank you. I appreciate it. I am going to be doing a video on what is going on with the engine and, and in just a few days. So, I promise you guys, you'll know it, something. It's coming. <laughs> Brazos Valley Soap said, if you come to Houston, we all have to party. Yeah, I'm totally down, 100%. Like, I definitely, I feel like I'm super behind. I definitely um, am coming to Houston. So, once, once, uh, very soon. It'll be very, very soon. Okay. I'm going to kind of scroll through and see of these comments because I feel like I'm like super behind and I don't want you guys to watch through the comments. Brazo said we looked into getting a bus but we're going to do the shed to house route. Your bus looks awesome though. I'm not sure if you're talking to me or if someone asked you but um I'm definitely when I do settle down sometime in the future I'm still planning on living somewhat tiny and I don't know if I will build or um, do a shed to house. I don't know. I mean, that's definitely an option. The shed to houses are nice because you have like all the hard stuff done. Kind of. It's still really hard. George Gooden did a $20 super chat, said loving the bus. Thank you, George. My C print said I'm restoring a wooden boat and don't have a table saw or chop saw. Best to have sharp hand saws and mitre. The best way is to make a cutting list and get a wood supplier to cut it and it will be square. Yeah. Kudos to you. I'm not, not that not that structured. I'm definitely a learn as you go, use what you got, and make the best of it type of person. Paul said Angelina's always down for a party. <laughs> well, I ain't lying. Ken said, are you going to build out your bus to drive race and pay for the reservation? Fill out your bus to drive race to pay for the reservations. Uh, yeah, that's the plan, don't you know? Okay, I think I'm caught up. Yay. James said, hi, my new friend. Have a great weekend. Thank you. A weekend? Isn't it like Tuesday? Oh, it's Thursday. <laughs> well, I'm behind. Rose said, hi, I'm glad you're back safe. Thank you. I am happy to be back. I just wish the rain hadn't followed me here. Eddie said, good night all. Thanks for sharing. Over 15 free said, hey, I just found you recently. That's awesome. I'm glad you're here. Takedown Tony said, hey, beautiful. How have you been? Um, as good as you can be sweating and covered in sawdust stuck to you. But pretty good. James said, how's the bus coming along? It's coming along. I definitely got a little frustrated today. Um, but I overcame that. It's all a part of the process. I 
you're definitely going to get frustrated with stuff like this. Especially when, like, you know, you don't have all the tools you need. But it's okay. You find ways around that. Like, I had to show Levi um, how to get, how to cut a straight line without, like, a table saw using clamps and a straight board. So that was learning learning curve for him. You gotta get creative. Take down Tony said, have you gotten the bus running? And I think someone else asked that to you. So that I don't want to say too much. But in the next few days you guys will find out exactly what's going on with the bus. I promise. Dennis, I don't know if it's Dennis or Denise, sorry. Did you sleep in there yet? I have not slept in here yet. I thought about doing a like first night sleeping, basically camping in the backyard video, but like bringing the cats in here and it's raining again and kind of seeing how, what they think of it. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll bring the cats in here with me, but I am thinking about doing like a my first night in here, kind of seeing how hot it gets and stuff, especially this time of year. It feels great right now, but like I said, it was like really hot earlier today. Scott said, your channel is one of my top two favorite channels. Well, thank you, Scott. I am honored. Like, you have no idea. I, thank you. <laughs> Wendy said, have you ever thought of revamping old furniture with a piece of lumber or paint the whole bus white, blank canvas and pick things up? on your travels. Um, I think, well, the bus is going to be pretty much pure white. And then I know of an artist in Texas who is an amazing artist. And I kind of want him to paint a mural on the side, but I think, I don't know if I can tell you, Levi has an idea of how he's going to paint his bus. And I think it's really cool. And I think you guys will think it's really cool too, but I don't want to say what it is because I, I don't know if he's talked about it or if he wants to, to be like a surprise. And as far as revamping old furniture, um, I have a couple of friends who wanted to do that with me for a while and like start a shop, but we just never did. George Gooden said sawdust is very exfoliating. <laughs> well, I, I hope so. I'll just pretend that that's true. Scott said, we all get frustrated. You will make it perfect. It won't be perfect. It will definitely have some character, though. And that's what's important. It's the character that counts. Right? That's what I tell myself, anyway. Isaiah said, the heat and humidity amplifies frustration. I can deal with the heat. I've been through a lot when it comes to building in the heat. Like, it's the humidity that was just torture. It literally felt like a sauna. And... That definitely added to the frustration. <laughs> Denise said, wow, listen to the rain. Yeah, I love the sound of the rain. I mean, who doesn't love the sound of the rain? The hobo to, to the hobo to grapher that I'm quote unquote, I'm not that structured. Ha ha ha. Build it, build it as it falls together. Exactly. I love that. That's exactly how I feel. How you and the van feel you should be together. That's how it should be built. I love it. I love that too. I love that comment. Peg Sargent did a $2 super sticker that says vlog. I don't think I've ever seen one that was in a sticker, like a moving thing before. Thank you so much. Anthony said, what time is the bus coming? It's raining. That comment is confusing. <laughs> Glenn K said, Jaylena has started a drinking game. Every time they say, is the bus running? I'm going to take a shot. I don't know how long I'm going to last. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. <laughs> but I like your attitude. Patricia said, good luck with your bus. I hope you get it fixed. Thank you, Patricia. Ryan said, you're doing an outstanding job with the bus. Uh, keep it up, enjoying the videos. Thank you, Ryan. I'm definitely trying to keep it up. Um, I have some... Okay. I've been on for 40 minutes. And as I often say in my live chats, if you 
jump into my live chats, I usually give you guys like some some type of like sneak peek or um, information that I won't necessarily tell anyone else until the time comes. So I have some, I'll save this. <laughs> that scared me. Um, I have really, really, really exciting news coming up. And it has to do with bus life and traveling. So I don't know what exactly all to say, but I, I just, there's a reason why I haven't done certain things because um, I have somewhere that I'm going to help me further my build in a sense. So that's coming within, I think, um, I'll be going to that in like five days. So stick around and see that. Sophie said, I'm jealous. We need lots of rain in California. Our lakes are very low. Oh no. Um, Mariah Alice was in Southern California the other day and it started snowing. Tyler said, did you get your bus running? Uh-oh, Glenn, take a shot. I love the sound of metal. It's so smoothing. You're doing amazing. I love that you take care of you and it looked like you had so much fun on your trip. Blessings. Thank you. It was, it was a lot of fun. Georgette said, hi, Jelena, watching Journey Along with Shannon right now. Is she live or is it just a video? Tonya Marie said, sorry about to show up some love. Thank you, girl. Pat said, if, you, if you're straight west of Nashville, it means a storm. I think I'm pretty much like pretty close to downtown. Um, Hannah said, how do or will you keep the cats from escaping when the windows are open? Custom screens? Um, I'll have screens on the windows for sure. And then I have some plans for custom screens for the back door if I want to have that open and not let the cats out. And then I also have a pretty big cat tent if I do want to let them outside. And then I also, depending on where I'm at, I will let them roam like here at my mom's. I let them roam the backyard. They don't go far. And they pretty much don't. They really don't go far. They just smell around a little bit and then they come back. M. Join, join, ja, Junka said, are you and Levi going to travel together once in a while? Oh, yeah, for sure. I definitely would love someone to travel with. And who better to travel with than my gigantic little brother? No one's going to mess with me. They see this 6'6 six, six dude walking around with me. Ain't nobody going to try nothing. He's going to be my bodyguard. I'm going to hire him to be my bodyguard. <laughs> Will said, next time you come down to Austin and float the river, let me know. I'd, I'll try to join you. I don't know when the next time I'll be in Austin is, just because I was just there. But, um... Yeah, I would definitely plan on going back. Like, that was so much fun. Rich said, it's so refreshing to see a down-to-earth uh, down real person. Love your channel. Keep it real. Thanks, Rich. I appreciate it. Couldn't be fake even if I tried. I'm just kidding. I think I could be an actress. A good one? That's debatable. But I, I think I could be one. <laughs> Rescue Pits 09 said, just curious, went to school with a guy with the same name. What name? Um, Koi Lake said, I'm not that far from you and it's not raining here. I want rain. <laughs> it's definitely, um, it doesn't look too bad right over me. It looks like the clouds are darker a, a little ways down the road. And it's just been on and off here. Cody said, when did you get back from the Texas vacation? Um, I got back to Nashville a couple of days ago. I flew back on the 7th. So, a few days ago. And he's, did I have a great time in Texas? I did have a great time in Texas. 
<laughs> Denise said spill the tea. I can't. I have to. That's going to be an awesome surprise. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, Haley said, I agree. Humidity is the worst. The number one reason. I will never move back east. I love the low humidity here in New Mexico. Interesting. I didn't know New Mexico had low humidity. I love New Mexico, by the way. I'm definitely planning on staying there, around the state for a while. Debbie said, I love watching the crowd grow. It started small, and now I'm saying it's 422, four, oh, 422 in the live chat. I can't wait to see when you have 8,000 or more. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. I can't wait for that either. That would be insane. Uh, Jaylena Rose, who you set, sold Hampton to, was saying that they are up in Colorado Mountains. Oh, cool. Dang. That was, I mean, going places. George said, you can pay good money for a thorough sawdust exfoliation. <laughs> Boss Lady said, I listen to Rain hitting a bus from an ASMR channel all night long. Sometimes I'll watch those like meditation videos to help me go to sleep at night, but I do also, I have in the past, will listen to like sounds and stuff. Denise said, I can't do a shot. I'm waiting for my daughter at the dentist. Cody said, did you really get scared? A minute ago when the rain hit the roof, I really did get scared. Miss Colbeer said, that's one of the reasons why I love Mr. Colbeer so much. They don't look twice. <laughs> Andy said, I just want to say I'm highly impressed with your energy and smile after all you've been through. You know, life has a funny way of teaching you the difference between the things that you need in your life and the things that you don't need in your life. And then when you finally understand that and you're happy, it has a way of just continuing to bring you happiness as long as you... I, I honestly feel as I do believe that uh, right now I'm reading a book called The Secret, which I'm sure some of you have heard of it. They made a movie of it too, which I don't understand how the, I'd have to watch the movie again because that's not necessarily the message I got from it, but it talks about essentially like manifestation, but how you, or your thoughts basically project how you're life events and like things in your life are going to happen and so I before I started reading the book but now that I am reading it I do feel like that's to an extent that's true like your thoughts have a huge impact on the things that happen in your life like for a long time I was dwelling on kind of more negative things and like this year I found so much happiness and I'm trying really hard to focus on the more positive aspects of my life in every way, even like today, like getting frustrated, I literally just take a step back and, and to kind of allow myself to appreciate the frustration because in the frustration and out of the frustration, I am learning how to maneuver around an obstacle that I, you know, could easily just get angry with and abandon, you know, instead of saying, oh, screw this, I'm just going to stop and start on something else or, like, abandon it altogether. Like, I'm learning to kind of reroute my thought process to think positive thoughts. And I feel like that really has made a huge impact. And there's so many things happening in my life right now that I'm, that are bringing me happiness that I'm just, like, blown away. That I truly believe that your thoughts have a lot to do with the way that your life kind of plays out. Ukraine, dude, is there a lot of Mexicans in Texas? I've ne never been. I mean, there's a lot of everything in Texas. I mean, as in South Texas, yeah, because you're so close to Mexico. But I mean, that's the best Mexican food you can get in the States. 
someone tried to argue with me about that, and I don't talk to that person anymore. <laughs> Barbara said it's 106 degrees in Odessa. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm glad. Now, you know what? Now I'm, now I'm glad that I'm not in Texas anymore. Two old people on the couch said, Annie, and you just sit in a chair and swing around moderate. <laughs> I'm swing around and moderate. Which one do you like to be staying at? Where you are from or back at Texas? Where I'm from. Like, so I was born in Washington. I grew up in Texas. And I've only been in Nashville for a few months. Or since, I guess, February? Honestly, Texas is... Texas feels like home. I don't know that, that I'll settle down in Texas one day. But Texas definitely holds a special place in my heart. And Nashville just reminds me of my mom, so that obviously holds a special place in my heart, too. And so does Washington. But Texas is like... I love all the places, but Texas is my favorite. Andy said, that sounds like a good book. I'm going to find it and read it. Yeah, I'm actually reading The Secret, which I, I highly recommend. And then I'm also reading a book called, this one's probably more for the ladies. I mean, like I could read it too, to an extent. She talks about being a mom and stuff, which I don't necessarily relate to. But uh, she did a, another one called The Girl, Wash Your Face. But that one, she talks a lot about being a mom. So I didn't really feel like I related to it much at all. But if you are a mom, um, girl, wash your face is good, and thoughts are things, and your thoughts manifest your reality. You must think about what you want, not about what you don't want. Exactly. That is exactly what that book talks about, is basically, like, you know, you you say, if you're, con if you're constantly saying, like, I don't want to gain weight. I don't want to gain weight. You're, the universe doesn't hear that. They just hear gain weight. And so that's kind of what you're subconsciously focusing on. And so I'm just using that as an example. Because for me, I feel like they're, that makes sense to me because for a while that's how I felt. Or like, you know, you f and then you focus on the positive. Like, oh, I want to be happy. I want to be healthy. I want to eat healthy. I just want healthy. And then it's come a lot more easier. It's come it's been easier for me to stick to that. But I feel like it's a it has a lot to do with my mindset because it it was hard to do that when it went from I'm so afraid to gain weight versus I just want to be healthy. You know. Uh hey Tasha said, Hey sweetheart, how are you doing? And you have put a fire under my bum. I thought I started cleaning my yard and planting trees and some bushes. And I'm fixing to work on the patio in my front yard now. Dang, girl. I'm doing a lot. Hey, Auntie Anne. Kenneth said, damn right, South Texas Mexican food is the best. Hands down. 100%. Scott said, just lost my just lost a job this week laid off love your outlook i'm so sorry to hear that i hope that you know another one door closes another door opens so just stay positive it'll all work out internet said you're doing great everything's looking great you're a strong woman you go girl you rock thank you and and said our heat index here is 103 dang summer's really hitting huh and said hi, glad to see you back in your bus. Hi from Indiana. Keep smiling. Thank you. Robert said I love the Austin area. I like the Austin area. To me, going downtown Austin was literally the same as going downtown to Deep Elm at this point. Deep Elm's a lot, or like um, uptown in, in Dallas. But like the outskirts of Austin, in the hills, beautiful. There's a lot of cool stuff to do around Austin, too. 
Hannah said it took me almost three years of therapy to learn to truly accept things will happen in my life that I can't control or fix that helped me let go of a lot of frustration. Yeah, I mean, I think therapy probably could do every single person ever some good. But I'm glad to hear that, you know, you're well on your way and that you let go. Ukraine dude said, does everyone in Texas drive a pickup truck and listen to country music? Only the cool people. Seven before seven years says, do you eat sometimes before breakfast? I don't eat breakfast. And why would you eat before breakfast and then eat breakfast? That's breakfast. Thank you, George. I appreciate that. Noble said, don't say I want to be happy. Say I am happy. Well, I feel like I am happy. But I've been trying to just reaffirm certain things in my mind. Like, I, do, I started meditating. So every night or every morning, I wake up and I do a little bit of meditating and I really try to focus on positive things like what I want out of my life and my goals and the person that I want to become while also doing the things that it takes to become that person like last night I couldn't sleep and I stayed up until like 3 30 just tossing and turning I don't know when I fell asleep last time I looked at my clock it was 3 30 I still woke up at 8 o'clock this morning and got to got to work did did my morning routine and busted butt. Wendy said, wishing you all the best on your build and travels from Liver Liverpool, UK. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Two old people on the couch. Says, Grumpy says, you look very pretty tonight. Well, thank you. This is my um, post bus sauna sawdust look. I appreciate that. Ms. Colvera said, true to uh, best Mexican food in H-Town. Ooh, I've never, I've been to Houston, but I've never, ever, I don't think I've ever, like, went anywhere in Houston. My old job, I used to have to stop in Houston at, I think, the Hilton Hotel or something, and they had a, um, what is that, the Brothers Bagels or whatever, the real famous bagel place, and I used to get stuff from there. That place is good. We'll have to get some Mexican food when I, when I come visit. Kenneth Ramirez said, we are hiring. We have an open spot for that person that lost his job. You see? Get in touch with each other. That's awesome. Thank you, Kenneth. That's really cool of you. Dax313 said, deep elm is nice now. I was surprised. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more uppity than it used to be. It used to be like rock and metal music, and now it's like Austin. I think it was my headphones. I thought it was a bug on my leg. Pegs at absolutely beautiful Texas 6th Street in Austin. I wasn't paying attention. I know. I don't know if we were on 6th Street or not. Barbara said, looking forward to when your bus conversion build is done. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it being done. I'm over it. I'm not over it, but I kind of, I'm over it. Miss <laughs> Colbeer, hell yes, big trucks and country all the way. Ukraine dude said, do you like donuts? I want to know if anyone on this live chat does not like donuts. Tasha said, I miss Washington State. Texas is just too hot in the summer. Oh my gosh, planting this big old bush today was heck in this heat. We have humidity like Houston right now because of all the rain. Ugh. Well, hopefully it wasn't as bad as it was here today because it was... The moment you walk outside, it just felt disgusting. Like, I immediately felt like I needed to take a shower. And I didn't even do anything at that point. <laughs> Does Texas have two time zones? <laughs> I don't think so. That's a legitimate question, though. It's that big. 
George said, you are on a true path looking inward. 100% I've been doing a lot of looking inward. Roland said, I'm watching from the Philippines. Always watch your videos. That's awesome. Hey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know it's only one time zone. But it, it is like a very big state. Koi said, do you ever miss your old farm animals like your chickens? I loved having chickens. Um, I definitely think that in the future I'll probably... I don't want to say never, but probably won't ever have the same type of goats. Um, I don't know that I wanted to go back to like homesteading with the animal part aside from chickens, but I definitely miss like gardening and stuff like that, which may be something that I, I do if I ever settle down and do like a tiny house or something like that. But like, I may wind up living on a sailboat and retiring someday who knows I don't make plans I don't make the plans I just I'm just along for the ride let's see what happens it's pretty much my what is it mantra mantra I don't know if that's how you say it but yeah I kind of just go with the flow I like doing things in the spur of a moment and it said, home is where the heart is. I definitely believe that. I definitely feel like uh, I'm learning a lot about myself. And it's weird to feel like you're finding yourself. Like, and you feel like you're in a good place. You start seeing people differently. Like, you start really noticing people's actions and what they, what that should tell you. I feel like in the past, like, growing up, you know, and I don't, I don't know, I feel like you tend to overlook people's flaws and red flags. I'm not. This is, I'm speaking from personal experience. I wasn't aware of my worth. And so, you know, you overlook things. I feel like I'm very much aware of red flags and stuff like that now. That I and I wasn't like that before. I wasn't, you know, I didn't know enough. I feel like I've learned a lot over the last decade. Really, I've learned a lot. Tasha Lee said, "I miss El Chico's. Is there not an El Chico? There is an El Chico's in Dallas, isn't there? Isn't there one at like Towny Small?" I miss El Chico's fried ice cream. That was my gym when I was a kid. We used to, my mom used to take us to El Chico all the time and I'd get fried ice cream. And then I went and had fried ice cream at, I don't remember what El Chico it was, but they used like, maybe it wasn't El Chico, but they used Frosted Flakes to deep fry it. I was not a fan. Haley said, chickens are the best. I'm sad my neighborhood won't allow them. I'll never live in an HOA again, so stupid. Yeah, I wouldn't, that's why, like, if I ever do buy land, like, I want to live out kind of in the middle of nowhere where I don't have restrictions and I can literally just do whatever I want. Ukraine dude said, Texas has two time zones. I looked it up. I'll have to Google that. I don't know if I believe you. Noble CE said, favorite saying of mine is actions speak louder than words. What a person does says a lot more than what they say. And I, I mean, I full-heartedly believe that, but I feel like a lot of people don't necessarily catch on, you know? You let a lot of things slide when you are when you love someone. And that goes for if you, that's your partner or even a family member or even a friend. Ukraine dude said, our state you'll find both Hudspeth and El Paso counties fall in the mountain time zone. That was my thought, if any, it'd be, so it's the furthest point. Tosh Jeremy said, hey, and he, and he did, it. he graduated first assistant and doing surgeries and working at a hospital saving lives. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Congratulations, Jeremy. I haven't seen you guys in forever. Oh, oh, what? Texas does have two time zones. Okay. Learning new things. I believe it. I really did only was thinking it would make sense if there's two, but I think that there's only one. But interesting to know that there's two. Yes, two zones, central, largest, and mountain. Interesting. Someone sipping some haterade. Everyone's like, no, you look great. Don't mind what that person said. Uh, K. Tony said, um, or Atonian, sorry, I probably butchered that. How do you like your mattress? I haven't actually slept on it yet, but I've laid on it a few times, and it is quite comfortable. Right now, I am sleeping on a twin 4-inch memory foam, like, super basic mattress that you buy at Walmart, and I think it's really just a mattress topper. In doing that, I've had this mattress for months, and I did not want I refused to open it, I refused to use it until it was in the bus because I didn't want to, I don't want to get too comfortable in the room that I'm in. So I'm literally for and I am not, all of my stuff is essentially still packed. I have some clothes in a dresser, some clothes in a closet, but I refuse to let myself get too comfortable because I'm trying to push myself to, and for me it's motivation to keep going every day, like get out here, keep working, and like that's my goal. I have to stick to it. Scott said, what power tools could you use? I have a ton of them. W would make a donation to you. Uh, the only power tools I really need... I mean, I think I have everything. As far as, like, s drills and stuff, though. I wouldn't even know. Um, Jack said, really crazy. Born and raised in Texas. And I didn't know that. I wasn't born in Texas, but I was raised in Texas. And I had no idea either. Arad said, did you get the bus running? Video on that coming very, very soon, I promise. Barbara said, Texas is a huge state. I think they said, like, it's like a over 17-hour drive from, like, the furthest most point to the furthest most point in Texas. And I believe it. Moby Cole, yeah, I can, I can see your texts. Tasha said, when you walk outside, it feels like a hot dog breath. Ew. Gross. Susan said, hi, all from the UK, Scot from the UK, Scotland. That's awesome. Hi, Susan. That's crazy that, um, the internet connects us in that way. Like, I've literally made friends that I would have never met had not been for social media. Like, as much as you know, social media has it can be a detriment. It's been such a blessing too. Kenneth said, "I love your videos and chat, but I have a hot update with my ex, Modern Warfare. Keep them coming." <laughs> Prevo said, "It's freezing here. I love it. I, oh, I bet it sounds nice." Gordon said, "Your internet's a little choppy. Maybe if you moved your phone closer to the windows and away from the metal roof, it might uh, help." I have the doors open. I probably won't be on too much longer. Um, I've been on for a little over an hour. I figure I just, if there's more questions coming in, I'll answer them real quick. Um, Zan said, uh, is Levi still building? He is still building. He's actually, he's been dealing with some frustration for sure. Um, he's getting through it though. He's learning from his mistakes. He's definitely working on himself as far as pushing himself to get out there and get it done. Um, so I'm, I'm really proud of him and how far he's come it's he's trying to get creative and taking a lot of you guys' advice but also watching a lot of youtube videos and he's also a gamer so i found this van life guy uh, i think his name's like the fine print and he's like a gamer who does van life and his channel's huge and i was like levi you gotta look this guy up like this is exactly what you want to do like this is your goal susan said it's 1 20 a.m here just now that's late. That was me last night. I could not sleep. But been on for an hour and ten minutes. 
and I am going to go ahead and hop off here and go take a shower and figure out what I'm going to do for this box that I'm building. Will you keep your bus for a couple of years? I don't know, honestly. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't make plans. I just, I, like I said, I'm just along for the ride. Who knows if my bus will even, you know, last a couple of years. It may not. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and all of my moderators. You guys are the best. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. I promise I will let you guys know what's going on with the bus very, very, very soon. But yeah, I'll see you guys then. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this live chat and hanging out with me. And I appreciate all of you for being here.